Okay, we're going to talk about my core war paints. I have got a selection of war paints here. Minimal wares, factory news, minimal wares, and um, this is this is all a McCormart sniper rifle I've already got. It's in the isotope effect. It's in the blue McCaw effect, like the blue McCaw parrot. So what I was talking doing is I spent a lot of time talking to various people about this effect, and in particular, uh, one of the chaps uh, has had a very specific interest. Um, in McCaw paints and has formed a group. I'll go into that later, but I just want to have a look at some of these very different color variants. Here's another one, which is blue and mixed with green. So it's it's very very nice the way you can get these uh, McCaw um, uh, items and and see. Now I'm a pyro, so obviously I'm going to uh, look at these as, as to whether or not they can be applied to a pyro. One. This is actually a McCaw war paint, and it's usually predominantly red two parts red to one green. Here is a, a different variation altogether. So these paints have a huge variation. Um, this one here is uh, similar to the other one. This one is even more different, you know? Um, and there was all sorts of variants of them. And there's actually going to also be um, uh, uh, paints that are, are virtually white with the McCaws. Um, this is a, a more typical one. This is a, largely a green one. Uh, this is a strange one with uh, 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 this one here uh, again using blue, green, and grey. This one here is uh, uh, the uh, the uh, red, the green, and the grey. This one is light green, dark green, and also a very small amount of grey. And you see, there's you know there's lots of different you know it's it's it is one type of paint. But there are some very interesting varieties of them. So this is this is very interesting the way that uh, uh, the paints are actually uh, are different uh, and substantially different. So what we might do is just have a look at uh, this group that this this uh, chap's formed, and it's primarily interested in looking at paints of different varieties of McCaw paint. But also, also he's also interested in looking at other variants, and, and certainly. Uh, with with uh, the tiger skins and the uh, leopard variants, there are different uh, different varieties as well. And I think this is a really nice touch that Steam's put on the fact there are there are subtle variants. And this is what sort of gets collectors and other um, eccentrics interested in 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 these paints. This is a guy Fire who I, I've been uh, who suggested uh, making this vid. And I think it was a damn good suggestion because. It, it's quite it's quite good um, uh, he's the group that he has is uh, he's, got, he's a member of a number of groups but in particular there's this group here that's dealing specifically with uh, the Ma uh, mass core collectors um, it, it's a public group um, there are so um, the, the McCall war paint full image um, I, I guess this is the idea of trying to put up some some videos to look at uh, different examples. Um, the, you know, the the red gem, for example. I, I don't think we've already have we looked at this one before. Um, I think this is one of the ones that we already had had a look at. Sorry, um, and uh, um, and uh, yeah, basically this white gems, green gems, blue gem, red gem, multicolor gem. So the the these guys are very serious about uh, uh, war paints. Um, what kind are you collecting? Um, uh, I saw someone as a rainbow collection. Um, so this, he's collecting solid blue, red, and certain white ones. Solid blues and whites. Uh, when a rainbow or where the paint lands just in the right and certain parts. Orange one collected now want blue. Um, wow, this is really nice. Um, uh, it's it's only just an early group that's starting, but I mean, and I, you know, there may well be some, uh, um, there may may always also be eventually some uh, paints that come up in different colours. There's no events organised yet. Um, these are the members in the group. Uh, Fire is obviously the group owner, and um, basically uh, this is this is me here, and. Uh, We've got a whole variety of other people that that are interested 
um, in these uh, paints. So, uh, as I say, if you are somebody that who is particularly interested in in, in macaw paints, um, uh, this is definitely a group you should consider looking into and seeing, you know, uh, basically what else, what are varieties around there to, to hunt them down. Obviously, they're going to be hard to hunt down, and certainly things in the community market, etc., are going to be well sought after and really, I think, under more scrutiny after this video has been released. Um, piece. Okay, um, there are different um, different varieties of macaw, and this is a really interesting one, which is virtually white. Um, this was sent through from uh, from Fire, who's who is a, is a, one of the chaps in the uh, the group, which I've also joined. Uh, but it's really interesting that this is like a, a, a blue and virtually white sort of setup, which is really pretty on this rocket launcher. Now, if you thought that was nice, look at this simply amazing, um, this simply amazing uh, um, uh, sniper's rifle. This here has a combination of the 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 the, 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 the blue and the red and the yellow. It's it's, it's really really amazing um, the different color variations in it. It's a really pretty rifle. If that was unusual. That would be absolutely fucking top dollar absolutely top-notch anyway I mean it's just a beautiful beautiful example of a weapon um, but yeah there's some some lovely paints out there you know okay now we're going to um, uh, have a look at this one in particular just adjust the screen there this is a soldier with a black box well the black box is anything but black now it shows quite clearly that you've got this. You know, this is this is he's got a uh, orbiting planet's effect on his uh, center of gravity hat, but he's also got this lovely macaw black box with orange, a bit of blue and white. Very unusual combination. Very nice, desirable. If that was unusual, again, uh, you know, extremely good. But even just with the paint itself, just looks so damn pretty. Okay, now this is another thing shown to me by fire. This is a, a bl all blue paint in Strange. It's like it's like one of one in the um, one of the one in the world. It's just so so awesome. I mean, look at that. How beautiful is that? All oh, it's going to be all blue. Uh, it's a little bit like um, it's, it's a little bit like on the sniper's rifle, um, the, the one that I showed you earlier. I mean, this is not. My sniper's rifle is not pure blue, but it's it's certainly it's certainly something that's um let's go back to my um backpack and let's go back to my core M A C A W. It's not it's not all blue, but it's so damn close to a blue. I mean, inspect the item. Look at that. So it's it's very close to blue. It's had a little bit of green, but now if that was all blue, it would be so damn impressive. Um, it's still impressive anyway. I mean, this one here is a combination of uh, blues and greens, which is also beautiful. But it's also got the whites in there as well. So, um, but yeah, all again, an all blue or an all green or you know, um, with a feathering pattern. I think all blue is probably the nicest looking one of all of them. Um, and that uh, paint that we saw before, which is not an unusual paint. It's, I think that's one of one in the world, so it's extremely rare. So you can see all the paints here, and these are all unique in themselves. So what I'm going to do is I'm somebody who collects a certain type of weapon. I'm going to have a look. Uh, I mean, look at that. That's interesting. That's the airstrike. I mean, I, I, I have a degreaser collection. Um, and people are going to hate this, but I mean, wow. Look at that for a degreaser. It is beautiful. Um, success yes look at that um, so let's use and see what that's this is very similar to the other guy so it's not as a rarer color strain but it's got a bigger blue component um, let's have a look at on, on the brass beast that looks pretty fancy. Let's just have a look at it in the degreaser. That looks pretty fancy. 
a family business rifle doesn't do it justice really um, the good old-fashioned rocket launcher I mean again it's a it's a nice weapon but it doesn't really do it justice well I, w I think I will redeem it on that because I don't have um, much in the way of um, soldier uh, things but let's have a look at that factory new and it looks it looks superb you know um, the one I'm really pretty well interested in is where is it this strange one here now I want to have a look at it with just a plate of flamethrower no it doesn't really sort of show off the weapon that's why I like in some ways the degreaser because the degreaser has more color intricacies and the uh, the the frame for it. it's got more curves but again it's not it, it's not you know an iron bomber i mean it looks pretty good on an iron bomber a loose cannon mm, take or give that um rescue ranger not a bad little thing on a rescue ranger um, shotgun, close encounters of the bird kind. <laughs> um, I know people hate the winger, but I mean, it makes it look like a slick little pistol. Um, SMG again doesn't have a resale value, but doesn't do much for me either. Um, I think I'll stick to the uh, let's have a look at the disciplined reaction. <laughs> beat the shit out of you the black box I think it looks best of all on the black box I think we'll redeem it on that one it's the best looking one for that type of skin and you really look I mean they look really nice this one here is virtually green green and a bit of yellow airstrike amputator looks almost like a fucking crocodile back scratcher nah brass beast oh yeah crusader's crossbow I like that degreaser oh yeah it's okay um, redeem, yeah, I'm going to keep that one. Bang ow! Okay, so resume game. Now this one here is one that I, I, I think will look pretty crazy with most things. Don't like airstrike. I mean, that just looks so fucking nice. That looks nice, look at that. The traditional sniper rifle, not that I need one because I've got that unusual. That looks nice. Look how the stock is different. That is really pretty. Um, sticky bomb launcher. Makes it look like a pregnant parrot. No, not in for that. Thomas Love. Thomas Love looks good, doesn't that? It? But it's not um, Ubersaw. No. Um, wrench. Oh, that's different. I actually like that. Hmm, I actually like that. That actually looks pretty good, and I'm not really an engineer main. Um, okay, well. Let's have a look at this one here. It's got a little bit of yellow a, a t with mainly green. That's it. I mean, the the amputator looks good with that on. The, I haven't got a nice, colourful bargain bazaar. That looks good. Um, I think we'll do that one. factory new pretty 
Uh, okay, well, there's a few other paints in there. Um, uh, in particular, um, there's a strange one here, which I'm very keen to use with something. I don't like it with the airstrike. The degrees are... It doesn't really show the colours off. No, that looks shit. Detonator. The blues and greens, they look okay, but, you know, again. Family business. I don't mind that, but... Holy mackerel. <laughs> no! Sinful. The jag. Oh, look at that. It looks like a fucking parrot. Isn't that fucking weird? It looks like a parrot. Yeah. Finally want a cracker. A uh, knife. <laughs> Lock and load. Medigun. That is something different. Person Persuader. What about the, the old, well, the reserve shooter? That's interesting. And the sniper rifle. See, that black and white doesn't feature very much there. Let's have a look at this. There's some machine gun. Nah. Shotgun. What's the handle there? I'm going to put it on the shotgun, I think. Because I know I'll use that uh, with various classes. So these are just some of the things that I'll look at. I'm going to have a look at these um, guys' websites now. I'm not going to use all these up. I'm going to have a think about them. But, I mean, there's some lovely paints there and... and there's some lovely color variations and you have a look here no two ones of these weapons even with similar paints none of them are the same that is probably my showcase uh, case piece i reckon that's one of the nicest mccall rifles i've ever seen um it's got an isotope effect which is beautiful it's mainly blue and um it's probably one of the bluest shades that i've seen except for that that uh, one that was uh, sh um that i sh uh, showed you that uh, fire had provided me